Hi, my name is Emily and I'm with Control Bionics. In today's session, we're going to talk about performing a neuro node reset and repair. If you want to follow along with this video, you can reference the operator's manual towards the end of the manual in the troubleshooting section. When performing a reset and repair, you can keep the device attached to the client, although for demonstration purposes, I'm going to remove it. There's a couple issues which may result in you performing a reset and repair. The first one may be if you go to connect to the NeuroNode controller application and receive an error like the one shown here, stating NeuroNode not found. Another common issue that may result in performing a reset and repair is if the battery has been completely discharged while using the NeuroNode. In that case, you may receive an error when switch control is turned on, which reads switch control external switch not found. The first step for performing the reset and repair is going to be to turn off switch control. In order to do this, you're going to triple click the home button. When prompted, go ahead and select OK to turn off switch control. Next, we're going to close the NeuroNode controller application. In order to do this, you're going to select the home button twice, locate the NeuroNode controller application, select it and swipe up to close. Now we're going to go into the device's settings and we're going to look at our Bluetooth settings. You can see here that the NeuroNode is listed in the My Devices list. You're going to select the I next to the device and select Forget This Device. When prompted, go ahead and select OK. At this point, we're going to turn off the device's Bluetooth. Once the device's Bluetooth is turned off, we're going to go ahead and reset the NeuroNode. In order to do this, you're going to want to locate the push pin tool provided in your kit. You can also use a paper clip if you've misplaced this tool. You're going to want to remove the battery cover from the neuro node and locate the threshold button, which is located beneath the battery cover. At this point, we are going to replace the battery in the neuro node or simply remove the battery shim which is gonna give us a five second window in which we wanna insert the push pin until a blue light begins blinking approximately 10 times. This blinking blue light indicates that the neuro node is being reset. After the initial blue blinking light, you're gonna get a launch sequence and you're just gonna wait approximately five seconds before replacing the neuro node battery cover and turning on the device's Bluetooth. You'll see here that the neuro node is listed in the Bluetooth devices, but we're not going to select it in the devices settings. We're going to launch the neuro node controller application and select connect to neuro node. At this point, you'll receive a pairing request and you'll want to select pair. We're going to verify that the neuro node is signaling within the neuro node controller application. And then we're going to go ahead and turn on switch control and ensure that a selection can be made utilizing switch control. Hello, how are you? Once you've verified that both applications are working and switch control is working, you should be good to go. If you have any questions, you can reference the troubleshooting section in the back of the manual, or you can call us for 24-7 support at 1-513-453-4848. Thanks.